Continuing our coverage of the toxic algae crisis, they are up and running again at Outboards Only in Jensen Beach. After a company removed thousands of pounds of algae from the water around those docks. News Channel 5's Katie Johnson is there tonight to explain why scientists believe the work has done more harm than good. Katie? Well, Kelly, it's a stark difference here at Outboards Only compared to what it looked like just a few weeks ago. Take a look at the water there. The algae is gone, so the employees here are able to get back to work. But a scientist we talked to fears they may have been exposed to more toxins when the algae was removed. At Outboards Only, the most important thing to its employees is water, whether it's in the marina or falling from the sky. It's raining. You can see the drops falling on the water. That's nice. A nice change of scenery for Phil Norman because this is what it looked like here just a few weeks ago. You couldn't do anything. We basically shut down. Boats in need of repair were removed from the water. Employees who worked out here got sick. Just respiratory issues. I mean, you know, the sore throat, you know, watery eyes, sinuses, you know, plugged. I mean, to get Phil and his crew back to work, Ecosphere Technologies volunteered to remove the algae from the water and pump it back out again. But Florida International University chemist Dr. Kathleen Rhine says the process may have released toxins into the air. You're breaking up these cells, right? You're creating aerosols with toxin in it. Ecosphere Technologies maintains that isn't the case, that the water and air were safe. Norman says he's just happy the algae is gone, even if he was exposed to toxins in the process. You can either do it quick and fast like they did it, or you can let wave action take care of it over a course of months and release the toxins over a course of months. So do you want to poison it slowly or do it quickly? Which way do you want to go? Now, there were air quality tests done here during the process, but the results are not in yet. As for outboards only, its owner tells me he's happy the algae's gone, but fears he won't see any new business if the overall algae problem isn't fixed. Live in Jensen Beach, Katie Johnson, WPTV News Channel 5.